My name is Jeremy Hood. I, um, I've been coming to Skyline for a little bit over a year and a half. Uh, I've been married for 19 years to my wonderful wife, Linda. Um, I have two girls, 15 year old named Victoria and an 11 year old named Shelby. So I'm originally from a small town, a uh, small town called Lacombe, grew up on a 123 acre ranch. High school was very well. I actually graduated seventh in my class, had an academic scholarship to school. And in Louisiana, the drinking age was 18. And well, I wasn't that smart. So I partied hard, got put on academic probation, and then I lost my scholarship. I didn't know what to do, so on the way home, I went and joined the Marine Corps. It brought me out here to San Diego. I joined the Marine Corps in December of 96. Got a lot of experience, got a lot of world travel. I've been all over the world. And then that, that's probably the positive sides. The negative sides, rehab twice. Um, once for alcohol and once for drugs. But got out of there and it just put me on the path for where I am now. And I was lost when I got out of there and decided it was time to start doing something. I met my wife, we got married and you know, it's been definitely a road. Man, I was stupid. Marriage counseling several times, a lot of fights, and all I was doing was tormenting my wife. It was I, was, I was tearing her down. And she didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve a lot of the things that I did to her emotionally. I, I found my identity and I became the person that she didn't want, but it was the person that I could give her and still survive. The American dream, I, I had the wife, I had the kids, I had the job, we have the toys or whatever, there's still something missing. You don't realize what it is, you just know something's missing. And if you would find that missing piece, then you would find out who you are. I don't know why my wife held on, I really don't. We talk about turning points, and for me, she asked me to listen to a song. The song was Lead Me by Sanctus Real. If you don't know the song, I highly recommend you listen to it. So I just started, every day when I got in my car to go to work, that was the first song I listened to. And I probably listened to it for six months. Because there are certain things in that song that talk about your wife smiling, you see her smiling in pictures, but it's on the outside. Your kids are smiling, but they're hurting inside. So what you see on the outside, you're taking it for face value. That's how I took my family's opinion and that's probably how I took God's opinion. She was coming to church. We had tried several different churches. I didn't want to come to church. I had no interest. I had my life figured out and I didn't need anybody's help, so I thought. My wife definitely started coming before I did. As Linda explains it, she tells everybody, she's like, it finally happened when she quit trying. When she finally turned it over to God and said, I can't do this anymore. It's you. If, Please help him. And somehow, <laughs> every pastor here has a way of making that message be directed at you. And it was like, I need more. Like, I need more. Something's, I'm, I'm missing it. I don't know what it is, but I'm missing it. And to the point where it's like, I need to go the next step. I need to be baptized. It, it has to happen. I got to be baptized. I think it's just how it works. Faith is an amazing thing. And unfortunately, I probably wasted 40 something years of my life trying to find it or trying to run away from it. For Linda and I, I mean, I can probably honestly say our marriage has never been better. We've made it through and, and through definitely through the grace of God and each and every day we get stronger. And now I think we have, before we were just building on ground and now with Skyline and, and the help that we've gotten here, now we actually have that foundation. He's given me the ability to open my eyes and see who I am and see who I can be. Seeing his plan or trying to understand what his plan is, has definitely been why I'm searching for more. Because everything he's given me, which is way more than I ever deserve, I still want more. <laughs>